Hello everyone, this is George, your friend, your boy, Jeb Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. And in this video, I am going to be talking about a drawing challenge that I like to do on the Amino uh, for Superpower Battles Volume 5. So for this drawing challenge, uh, I would like to see what you guys in the community have to offer in terms of fan art for the main character for Superpower Battles Volume 5, Hex Rex. Um, like I said, he's going to be the star of Volume 5, he's going to be featured in each and every story of Volume 5, um, and I'd like to see what you guys' interpretations of Hex Rex are as a character, um, and how you guys would draw him. Um, and then, any art submissions that you guys like send in through the Amino of Hex Rex, um, I am more than happy to actually share in like the final book, so within Volume 5, I would have a section of like the different fan arts that you guys did of Hex Rex, um, and then you could have your art published in the book, which will be available on Amazon in ebook and paperback format. So if you want to like get your art out there, um, and you also want to like enter this challenge and see what people think of your artwork, I would highly recommend it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe Hex Rex to you guys, um, and then after I describe him as a character to you. Uh, maybe that'll give you some ideas on um, how exactly you'll want to like draw him if you're interested in doing the challenge. Um, and maybe the description will be what motivates you to want to do the challenge. Uh, so we'll see. So uh, Hex Rex, his species is Dino Man, which is a subspecies of Animal Man. Uh, he's more or less a humanoid Tyrannosaurus Rex who has the defensive and offensive capabilities of a Tyrannosaurus Rex while still having the appearance and bipedal movement of like a normal human. So it's kind of like a weird anthropomorphic animal looking vibe for Hex Rex. He's like a man T-Rex. Uh, think like Doc Connors like the lizard or um, Killer Croc for like a DC Comics example for his appearance. Um, he's a supervillain, and his motivations are he fought in a great war between the Dino Men and Mythical Shadows. Mythical Shadows being these weird shadow creatures that take on the appearance and abilities of mythical creatures from legends and myths from long ago. So uh, the Dino Men and the Mythical Shadows were in a great war. Um, Hex Rex's fellow Dino Men were killed in a climactic final battle between the two sides. But Rex, which is his normal name, Hex Rex being his like supervillain name, but Rex survived because his body somehow adapted to the mythical energies of the shadows. This adaptation allowed Rex to seal away mythical shadows into other beings and objects in order to win the war. His adaptation also granted him immortality, allowing him to forever wander the earth. Rex, after winning the war as the last of his kind, believes that he has earned the right to rule the world. Rex claimed a city for himself, Shadow City, to be the seat of his empire, and infused mythical shadows into all of those who wandered into his kingdom, transforming them into his servants. Years pass, and Rex realizes the error of his ways as he discovers that humans and animal men have joined forces and taken over the majority of the world. Now realizing that he shouldn't have stayed in one place for so long, he travels the world to claim all cities with his shadow beast possessed servants acting as his army. So yeah, uh, that's Hex Rex uh, in a nutshell, at least his motivations. Uh, like I said, his goal is that he wants to become the one and only ruler of the world and that his powers are shadow magic, immortality, and humanoid animal physiology, uh, specifically that of uh, T-Rex. But yeah, if you guys are interested in doing this art challenge, uh, I would highly recommend checking out, art, bleh, checking out the Amino and submitting whatever fan art that you guys want to do of Hex Rex. Um, like I said, his appearance is kind of like that of like the lizard from Spider-Man or like Killer Croc from like Suicide Squad. Um, but he also is, he's more than just like a lizard man, you know, he's been um, on the planet for years and years and years due to his immortality. So he definitely has like some age on him. Um, and he's fought in like a great war. And even though he's immortal, he doesn't have regeneration. So he probably has like scars and like stitches and stuff like that. 
Um, but he also has mystical abilities. So I could see him having like different mystical elements or like amulets or robes or stuff like that. Feel free to let your imagination go crazy. Uh, I'm excited to see what you all come up with. But I'd like to thank you all once again for watching. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. This show is your friend, your boy, Jeff Blackwell, and only. Logging out. Peace, and thank you again.